to Zed Anthony Sinisuka Ginti. Well, there were seven different nationalities and just three seeds at quarterfinal stage, and we are guaranteed uh, four different nationalities at semi final stage. That's always wonderful to see the diversity in any of the disciplines. And I think that men's singles is becoming a very diverse and unpredictable uh, discipline. It has been women's singles that has held that title for Please about the past China. decade, but now it's becoming men's singles. Totally unpredictable. Anthony and that's Zina always Scott. wonderful yeah. for us fans to watch. Here is the All England champion, Li Shi Fang. Unseeded against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. The defending champion going for something rather special here at the Singapore Open because he's going for a third consecutive final. Of course, there was no event in 2020 or 2021, and he was beaten finalists back in 2019. Lost out to Kento Momota in three games in the final. So, on a quest to reach a third consecutive final here at the Singapore Open. Hello. Well, this will be a third meeting between these uh, two Hello. players, and both previous uh, meetings have been won so by Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. The last was at Red, the quarter-final of the Badminton Asia Championships in Dubai earlier this year. Receive, with sight. Oh, goodness, he's chosen to receive Ginting rather than choosing ends. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about that match in Dubai at the Asian Championships. Li Shifeng had a match point in the second game, but lost it 23-21, and then had two further match points in the deciding game, which Ginting won 26-24. So if we have a match like that, I think we're uh, in for a real treat. He's 23 years of age now, is Li Shifeng, as you can see from uh, Nangchang, the capital of Jiangxi province landlocked province in southeast China. Tall man, as you can see, uh, that's just under six foot tall. And he is one place down from his career high ranking, uh, down at 12, having been at 11 for 10 weeks from the end of March earlier this year after his All England victory. In the first round, he beat a man promoted from the reserve list, uh, Chum Chum Wei of Malaysia. And then the left-handed, uh, his teammate, Wang Hong Yang. Two hours and 29 minutes in total. He has been on court to reach this semi-final stage. And the defending champion, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, number two seed this year. And he is the world number two, the 26-year-old from Chimahi, just west of Bangdong in West Java. Making his fifth appearance here. And this is his 10th week in total at his career high, but he's uh, quite a way off on the race to the World Tour finals. Now, in the first round, he beat Ng Ka Long in two straight games. And again, uh, in the second round, it was two straight games against Boran Yang, who had beaten Rasmus Genka of Denmark in the first round. Olympic bronze medalist in Tokyo. And in winning that Olympic bronze medal, became the first man in badminton history to medal at both the Olympic Youth Games and the Olympic Games. That's pretty special. A bronze medal in both of those events. So our court officials from Canada and Hong Kong, China. Both these men have won one title so far this year. I've told you about Li Shifeng at the All England Championships. Anthony Ginting, having beaten his opponent of today in the quarterfinal of the Badminton Asia Championships, went on to win uh, those Asia Championships and take the medal. Beat Lo Ken Yu in the final in Dubai.
Well, there's a sort of buzz around the Singapore Indoor Stadium right now. This is a match that I think many fans have eagerly anticipated. Certainly, it's one that I've been looking forward to. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Anthony Sinisuka, Ginting, Indonesia. And on my left, Li Chifeng, China. Li Chifeng to serve, love all, play. So it is the unseeded Li Shifeng, China far side of the court against the defending champion, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Are you as intrigued by this as I am, Stint? Yes, I'm really looking forward to this match here. Um, the, uh, the two previous encounters <laughs> seem to have been very, very exciting. And uh, also I'm looking forward to see how uh, it's affected Ginting that um, he won that Asia Championship, um, his first sort of gold medal not his first tournament win but his first gold medal um, a little bit worried by the strapping on his um, on his right knee but on the other hand I think he must be um, as ready as can be to play because otherwise I think he probably would have pulled out and uh, prepared for Indonesia open so hopefully just a precaution uh, he often wears strapping on that right knee, doesn't yeah. he? But, but recently we've seen him without strapping, so yeah. I'm with you. I am concerned about it. And, uh, and we'd have um, both based on, on the previous meetings, even though you can't really put that much into it because I mean Li Shifeng he could just as easily has, have won in um, in the Asia Championships but um, but the, given the playing conditions and, and Ginting's uh, former good results here then um, I have him as as the slight favorite where I feel Li Shifeng would not mind had it been a little bit um, less windy tap bit uh, slower shovels so how is he going to cope with this step that's going to be interesting to see is he wearing a strapping as well on his right knee is she fun no, i think he might be he definitely yeah. is Always challenge here. There was hesitation from the line judge. First ball indicated in, then spread the arms to indicate out, so that's unsettled Ginting, and Ginting has therefore asked for a challenge. That's what we in Denmark call a baby swimmer. <laughs> call this <laughs> looks like a swimming stroke. Yeah, he made the right decision yeah. in the end. So that's a wasted challenge from Ginting. Look at that, just inside the line. Oh, how quick 
was that follow-up? Uh, he, he is so super fast. Both forward and backwards, uh, Ginting. Yeah, that seemed to be one step and a big lunge as well. Yeah. From the back of the court to the net. Uh, uh, we we um, normally are a little bit puzzled when players elect to receive or serve in windy conditions, but, but with Ginting, he's actually capable of both playing against the drift and with the drift. Uh, I, I would even say that perhaps he's a little bit better with the drift, which is um, it's not normal, and that's what makes him so good. Because he's so speedy, has all these small deceptions in his game. He's able to utilize playing with the drift. Unless, of course, it's it's completely ridiculous um, conditions. Wow. Oh. wow. That is amazing. That is fantastic play from Li Shi Feng. Straight smash. Force to the net. Back again so quickly this time. A cross court smash. Good variation, good movement, good accuracy. The sort of the, the aura around Li Shi Feng's physicality in, in this rally here reminds me a little bit of um, the one Axelson showed when uh, badminton. Uh, got back after COVID. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm sure all fans, talking of Victor Axelson, will be hoping that Victor is recovered from his hamstring injury and will be able to play next week in Indonesia. We still don't know for certain, do we, Steve? No. I think it, it might be a game time decision, so to speak, or a final call decision when yes, yes. they make the final call in the airport for the fight to uh, Jakarta, whether he uh, is on it or decides to postpone. Well, that touched him, didn't it? No, that's what Ginting is advocating. Here we go, let's watch this again carefully. Ooh. Well, if it didn't touch him, it was mighty close. Yeah. I can understand that um, it was impossible to make a call in uh, the split second the umpire had to decide. Yeah. Treated to a lot of good yes. uh, rallies in this match so far. It's lived up to uh, what I expected. In fact, the strapping on his right knee, this man, is really quite extensive. Oh, oh good reactions from Ginting. Very good reactions. He, he's getting ready, Li Shifeng. He knows the chance is going to come. Look at that. It's just not good enough. Well, it's not good enough because of the quality from Ginting, surely. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. That is ridiculous. How good was that backhand cross-court defence from Ginty? <laughs> and he wasn't expecting a wonderful net shot from his opponent. Have a look at this. That is superb. But how on earth did Li Shi Fun then control that net shot? Well, we thought this would be good, and it's certainly delivering at the moment. Yeah. Nicely done. And it is the defending champion, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. What an excellent start to this match. Sun Jun, former world champion, the Chinese men's singles coach. Well, he's, he's done a good job, uh, Sun Jun, with the um, Chinese men's singles. A little bit mine, play. position from Anthony Ginting to play what we call the round the head shot deep in the backhand corner but still played with the normal overhead action that is absolutely wonderful spinning, tumbling Ten, net shot. 13. And that's the problem when you go for the kill or for tumble. You saw the shuffle was uh, still in its spin, in its tumble, and therefore you hit the feathers first rather than the base, the cork of the shuffle. That's when you don't get any control. That's difficult because the body movement is going one way and you have to control the racket head. You see the body movement is falling out of court and therefore you still have to control that racket head to keep the shuttle in. Very nicely done. the shuttle to Ginting at the front of the court and therefore he had the options. Here he comes. Then he plays the little block. But this one, that's the one where he's come from above the shuttle. That's made the difference within the rally. Okay. 
you. That's good control. Isn't that fabulous? 16, well, considering the sideways drift, for him to play that accurately down that line is astonishing. much wrong with the body smash no. from Li Shi Fang, but the defence from Ginting was sublime. Look at that. <laughs> it's gone past him. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous defence. Wow. Ridiculous in a good way. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, I, I actually think Li Shi Fang has played really, really well, but he's down 18-12, so... It, can Ginting, can he maintain this high level here? That, that's yeah. going to be interesting. Yeah, and that's often a question mark in our minds, isn't it? What? Well, it was called Goods. Challenge from Nishi Fang. I thought the line judge got it right. I think it may have clipped the line. Certainly did. Uh, it was also a little bit of a reluctant challenge. One challenge remaining. 19 12. It wasn't these wronged pointing the finger at the referee. It was more like, uh, I'm, I think I probably have to challenge that yeah. one. Yeah. Well, it's so near the end of the, of the game. It's now game point opportunities. 20. Game point. Oh, most of them for the defending champion. Yeah. Well, it would have been six straight points from Ginting to get to the game point opportunities. Emphatic 21 13 opening game to last year's champion Anthony Sini Suka Ginting. Well, you were saying that he could move back quickly, move forward quickly. There was an example moving back for the flick serve. And look, when he's landed, his body weight is moving yeah, forward. Yeah, that's he's what's so impressive. Yeah. So the opening game, 21-13 in 18 minutes. I'm not even tired. This time, coaching and working a lot. Even some are traveling to tournaments, the Indonesian men's singers coach. This time it's uh, Harry Jang, I'm told by our good Indonesian friend, Rudy. Well, what an excellent 
excellent opening game that was. Won by the defending champion, Anthony Simmons of the Ginty. And in theory, Ginting has the better end from which to play now because he's hitting against the drift. Uh, he's against the lengthways drift, I should emphasize. Because that last shot of Ginting taken by the sideways drift. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's yeah. nice. But uh, I think Ginton should still, if he wants to try and finish this in straight games, he uh, he should still look for the initiative in the rallies and look for the attack. Because uh, if he leaves too much initiative to uh, Li Shifeng, then I, I think the Chinese is perfectly capable of uh, exploiting it. Start to the second game by the All England champion Li Shi Fang. Shi Feng was being asked to cover an awful lot of court in that rally, wasn't he? Yeah, and he did it. Yeah, but can he maintain that? Yeah. If he's asked question after question. Yeah, I, I think... I have a feeling that he can. And one of the things um, that's become a bit more difficult for, for Ginting, even though he's playing on the side we mentioned as the, the goods... Oh, that's... That's wide. That was an awful serve. Um, it's been it's been more difficult for him to to kill his uh, or to to make the opportunities when smashing really really big uh, because he's now smashing against the wind um, and that is sort of uh, given that uh, Li Shifang can maintain good quality on his play to the backcourt, which we've seen can be difficult, but so far he's done well. Well, he's not challenging that. He's right there. What a great lift. Well, so much for our theory about the better end from which to play in men's singles. Seven, yeah. One. Well, as long as, as Li Xifeng can have reasonable length on his shots, <laughs> then um, Ginting's attack won't have exactly the same bite as it did in the first game.
he's not happy with himself. And that's understandable. Oh, that's brilliant. What a shot. is Ginting has not been really close to one of Li Shifeng's smashes here in, in the second game. That's worrying from an Indonesian perspective. Yeah, that plus the scoreline. Yeah. I wouldn't have predicted this, you know. A super shot. Three, ten. Oh, looks even more delightful from that angle, doesn't it? He's covered the court well, Li Shifeng, and he's controlled the lengthways drift really well. That's what he's done so good here in the second game. Deflected from the neck ball would have gone wide. I sense from the last two rallies here that Ginting is about to find the recipe. Look at that. Nothing that Li Xifan could do about that. I do think he needs to close down this gap, though, before the mid-game interval. Yeah. A couple more points, at least. But it won't happen because of the push into the net. And it means that Li Chi Fung has a six-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. Hinting having won the first, though. So the play resumes here in the second game. Yeah, that's two careless errors, one prior to the mid-game interval. And that error on the return of serve, you simply can't afford that when you're so many points adrift. 
Seven points adrift now. Yeah. Great play. Service over. Six, twelve. That, that's what he should do. Uh, the thing is, maybe he's too far behind uh, in this second game to do it here. But but I think what he needs to do uh, to play the far side better than he's done here in the second game is that he um, he needs to take control of the front court uh, and play more flat. Net play like this that, that gives um, Li Xifeng big upper hand opportunities, that is, uh, is lethal for, uh, for Ginting. That's going to kill him. So he's got to uh, stand far forward. But on the other hand, we've seen Li Xifeng being able to play the backcourt. So when Ginting gets the opportunity on the backcourt, he should be more patient and be uh, more content with just making his way up to the front court and uh, playing the great shots from there, playing the small deceptions, playing the pushes to the backcourt. Then when he has the attacking chances, I think uh, I would um, be in time to go more for the uh, the windy side, the backhand side of uh, Li Xifang. And Ginting seems to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly on that occasion. So the speed of movement is um, is his best weapon, I think, and his, um, his technical skills on the front court. Um. Yeah, but you see that error again. And that's the question. That's too early in, in the rallies that yeah. an error creeps in. So can he play uh, the rallies that are uh, long enough? Can he uh, can he play long rallies without making errors? That that's that's going to be the question. Well, that's a second service error from Li Shifang. And, and for, for Li to, to counter that, he would need to play uh, two, three shots, be able to play two, three shots or more to the back line so it becomes difficult for, for Ginting to, um, to take a half step forward. And that's one red by Yushita. But I don't think we're going to see it in full effect until um, in the second part of a decider. I think he probably is too far behind. I don't understand that second choice of shot, this one. No. I simply don't understand it. You've got your opponent off balance. You're hitting against the drift. That was the opportunity to play fast into one of the back corners. Exactly.
That's a great smash wow. from Ginting. Really move quickly to get behind this one. Yeah, uh, Ginting definitely is not in agreement with you, Steen. No, 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 and, and I, I will change my mind and agree with him. Because, I mean, it's a bit more safe to, to hit it that way. He can hit it really, really sharp, even if he hits it five centimeters outside of the line it still has a good chance of um, drifting in even though smashes are not that much affected by the drift but um, he can go really sharp for that um, right line whereas he would have to hold a little bit more back and, and aim for uh, inside the line on the um, left side All right. So two points away from taking this second game. Li Shi Feng enforcing a decider. Here we go. What does the instant review say? That the line drudge was absolutely spot on. Talent is successful. Well done. One talent remaining. That is over. 13 mine. Leg. Game point opportunities to level this quarter final at one game apiece. Oh, it's landed in. Yeah, he's yeah. He started it almost on the uh, other tram line, Ginting. And did you see the little gesture from Li Shi Fang after that? No, I didn't. To his see coach, that. just indicating, yeah, came came back in. Yeah. <laughs> they know about that drift. Oh. That is just amazing. I was talking earlier in the match about the difficulty of controlling the next shot while it's still tumbling and spinning. How on earth did Ginting do that? He sort of chopped under the tumble yeah. in the spin. Short, short uh, contact. Matches on all other courts have now finished, so everybody's concentration and focus is on this men's singles. Sixteen, the second game in favour of Li Shi Fang, and we will indeed be treated to a third and a second game. He was awfully confident that was going to go long. <laughs> that was very nonchalant. Yeah, he was already off to his kit pack. Didn't even watch the shuttle land. Yeah, I know that's going long. I'm ready for the third. One game all. After 40 minutes.
Well, during the two-minute timeout, Li Shifeng has called for the medics. I seem to recall he did that at the All England. Something wrong with the ball of his foot, I think, or maybe his big toe. And it leaves Anthony Sinisuka ginting just to contemplate what he's going to do in this deciding game. Plenty of Indonesian fans here, and I'm sure I saw somewhere earlier Pak Yamto, famous Indonesian fan. Yeah, I can see him. Oh, yeah, so can I. Behind uh, Li Shifang's end of the court. Standing up, applauding, being very vocal. Dressed up, as always. He's a lovely character. So here we go, third and deciding game. Can Anthony Ginting make it? through to the semi-final and still give himself a chance of reaching a third consecutive Singapore Open final. No men's singles player has ever done that in the history of this event in the Open era. that he can uh, sort of uh, challenge on the front court and I don't think he can challenge at the net. Being a little early on the net could give him some opportunities of uh, playing flat, flatter than uh, he started in the first game. So uh, it becomes easier to defend because if first Ginting gets airborne, then, um, then it's very, very difficult. Try to get the racket out of the way. I thought he was awfully close to actually clipping the racket. I, I thought so too. Nice block. Good play. Oh, that's landed in. Oh, that, yeah, there's a challenge here from Ginty. I mean, we couldn't be further away from that back line, I don't think, Steen. No, there, there's been a couple of. Um, Drops similar to this one, and uh, I've just given him on trying to predict them. Okay, well, you know what I thought, so that, that took the line. Here we go. Oh no, long by this guy. 
he started really well here in the third game, Li Shifong. He's extremely alert in the uh, service situation, looking to get high on the net. That was what's needed. The long return. Boys. Oh, delightful skills. Yeah. And the net's going to become of paramount importance. Yeah, and, and we're going to see a psychological battle here because uh, clearly Li Shifang is trying to play back. He's playing back from a very low position here. Knows that lifting is probably not an option, only as a variation. Otherwise, it's just losing it after two or three shots. More than uh, that net shot. Great play by Eaton. The control. Five, four. Oi, exceptions. That's absolutely amazing. Right now, this is this is a battle where Ginting tries to get Li Shifang off the front court, and Li Shifang doesn't want to get away. But but Ginting has so many deceptions that in the end he gets his way. That's just an absolute beauty. I think that he, he needs to do that, but he's he's pressurizing Ginting to be accurate with shots like this. And, and he's responded, Ginting. I think if, if he waits, then, then Ginting will just play the net with one of his deceptions. Very good spell by Ginting. And it's five in a row, right? It is indeed. And just as uh, I thought Li Shifeng had started really well, the response came immediately from the Indonesian. Good play by um, by Ginting. Here he gets the lift he wants. The problem is that even if Li Shifang is, is playing it a little bit flatter, he can still hit it. He can hit the body, he can hit straight, he mostly hits straight, so perhaps he should go a little bit extra for those. Uh, Li Shifang. Well, broke the strings of his racket with that Service smash. Over. Chinese player. Five, nine. Amazing badminton at the moment. It's almost like a game of chicken. Who gives in first? Yeah.
Oi! Oh, how on earth did Nishi try to get that first one back? We thought we might be in for a treat, and he certainly hasn't disappointed, has he? No, that, that's the best game we've seen so far. Surpassed expectations. Still scrambled seven points together so far. Li Shifeng. Could that be enough? Oh, that's well wide. Eight, ten. Well, it's possible he could change ends in the lead. Shifeng. Yeah. Play. Coach, please. Oh. Oh. Such reactions from Ginting. The defending champion who has the advantage at the change of ends. Three point advantage. Is that enough? As both men have played better from this near side of the court. Well, I think the first couple of rallies after the resumption of play are very, very important as far as Ginting is concerned. Yeah. This is, uh, you can see that the Shifang is under the most pressure because, I mean, otherwise the gap gets even bigger. Play. Yeah, it was the little hold and yes. flick on the backhand from Ginting as he came that forward deep into the forehand of Li Shi Feng. That's the one that made the difference. That well, one. Exactly, Mine. that extra little pressure shot, making the opportunity even bigger. I was impressed with Li Shi Feng in the uh, first part of the third game. And uh, this is. Amazing play by Ginting. Ichi, you should be ready quicker. That is a fabulous body smash. And it's so difficult for these tall athletes like Li Shi Feng. The smash comes directly at you. You have to get your body out of the way to give yourself the freedom to play the defensive shot. And with long levers, that's difficult. Oh, that's gone long. And basically, these that two men's singles players here, they're Don't showing us what playing in windy conditions is all about. It's a battle for the front court and then uh, putting in some variations to sort of trick your opponent and keep your opponent guessing so that you can get the attack. It's 
well left. Table tennis smash from Yu uh, Xifeng. It is about finding the fine line, the breaking point. How much do I want to? How much do I want to uh, challenge at the net? Risk making an error compared to uh, being a little bit under in the rally and so on. See, he's doing a good job for Ginting there, putting a little bit of angle uh, on these net shots. Now, um, yeah, you can see Li Xifeng was ready to move straight forward, and then it came at a little bit of an angle. And mentally, this is really really hard for both of them for also. both of them for both of them good push oh, that's oh. Great. fantastic play by Ginting there senses correctly what kind of state his opponent is in after each of his shots That one who pushes long, if he plays the net there, then it's point Li Xifeng. What a match. Oh! How did he play that backhand? There was virtually no backswing at all. No. Where did he create the power? Take a look at this. That's amazing. Five point advantage. Great angle. And the six point advantage is restored. Remember those six straight points from three, four down in this deciding game to nine, four up. And the match clock just ticks over the hour mark. We've had an hour of simply brilliant badminton. And it's not over yet. It's not over, even though that lunge and the uh, body language from Li Xifeng there looked a little bit like, yeah, I'm going to go for it, but I'm not certain I'm going to pull this off. And now Anthony Ginting, two points away from in a place in the semi final once more. Mistake. It's back on to opportunities. The defending champion really has played so well in this deciding game.
just two minutes over the hour mark. And what a wonderful quarter-final we've witnessed here today. Defending champion Anthony Ginting, obviously delighted with uh, that victory over the All England champion Lee Shifeng. This is the final Mark rally. Anthony Sinisuka, Ginting, 21, and that was very close to the back line, but I like the fact that Li Shifeng did not challenge it, did not take away the moment of victory from his opponent by asking for a challenge. He knew it was in. Good sportsmanship. I like to see that. So confirmation of the scoreline, 21-13, 16-21, 21-12 in the deciding game to the defending champion, Anthony Ginty. quarter-final stay we're having here at the Singapore Open. After that absolutely tremendous men's singles, we turn our attention to the mixed doubles, and it's an all-unseeded affair. Li Chun-hei and NC Yao of Hong Kong, China, 